Are you tired of burning disc after disc just to play backup games on your Xbox? Yeah, me too. Let's do something about it together. Come on, I'll show you how to send games to your Xbox hard drive using the internet. Coming up next. Don't forget to like and comment below and subscribe so you don't miss any great new content. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Blaine and welcome to this how-to for installing games to your Xbox across the internet. I want to demystify this process for you. It's actually quite simple. It's not terribly time consuming to get set up and I think you'll really enjoy this. It beats the heck out of burning discs and having to play them one at a time. You can put them right on your original Xbox hard drive and swap them out as space permits, or you can upgrade your hard drive. I like to think of this as part four and a half because it sits in between the soft mod and the replacement of the hard drive, which is coming up next. But I want to demonstrate to you how to move the games over because that's going to be an essential part of why you'd want to even upgrade the hard drive in the first place. So here's how it's done. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need an Ethernet cable long enough to stretch between your Xbox and your wireless router or wired router. And you're going to need two pieces of software. I'm going to show you right now where to get them, and I'll link them in the description below. I'm showing you this on a Mac, but this is exactly the same process whether it's Mac or PC. So don't get thrown off by me just showing it on a Mac to you. It's the same either way. So you need to get FileZilla which is at filezilla-project.org and I'll link that in the description below. Come down to download FileZilla client. You don't want the server, you just want the client. So come down here to download client, click it, and then click download FileZilla client. You don't want the paid versions or any of those other things. You don't want it off the App Store, any of that stuff. You just want plain old FileZilla, this one right here. Okay, the download's complete. Next thing is you'll need some game to put on the Xbox. So I don't want this to digress into a conversation about where to get downloaded or even pirated games, but archive.org is really mainstream stuff. So I have no problem with showing you this as a place to get some content to try this out with. So the easiest way to do this, and you wanna search for, if you put this into Google, I'll give you the link below, but if you put this in Google, what you wanna search for is Xbox hard disk drive, HDD, ready. What these are, and I just want to give you the description of this right quick. These are, as you can kind of see here, they're basically sort of reworked disk images. And they take out all of the fluff out of them, and they take out any kind of copy protection, Xbox Live requirements, any of those kind of things, so that you can play them natively on your Xbox. Because Xbox Live is no longer functioning in the original Xbox consoles, if the software mandated having Xbox Live, it wouldn't work. So these basically strip that stuff down. And this is really the rub on why you need this in the first place. If you go to download the original ISO image files, you'll find that the many of them are about six and a half to seven gigs. They're not gonna fit on a DVD-R in the first place. So pulling these down, as you're about to find out, some of them are really small. And so you can fit a nice collection of games even on the space on your stock Xbox hard drive. So this is tremendously helpful for that purpose. Plus if you install a much larger hard drive in your Xbox you can put an entire library on there. I have found the easiest way to get hold of this content is just go right here to the 7Z drop down. So go to 7Z and you'll see the entire list of what's available to you in this first of three. This first part of three for Xbox hard disk drive ready. I do believe the other ones are J through Q, and then the third group is R through Z. 
So I'm a huge fan of the Aliens films and the Predators films. So here's Alien vs. Predator. And if you look, this isn't too terribly large. It's only 214 megabytes. That is completely doable even on the stock Xbox hard drive. What's great about archive.org's content is that it doesn't link off to other sites or link off to torrents or any of those other things if you don't want it to. You can just straight up download right from the site. And that one's already done. At this point, you'll need to install FileZilla. And I'm going to show you that process and what you need to do with it. So here are the two downloads. Here's FileZilla and here's Alien vs. Predator and just a temp file that I keep there for some downloads. So here's FileZilla. I've already got it installed on here, but I'm going to show you the process. At this point, just go ahead and install it all the way through, Windows or Mac. With FileZilla downloaded and installed, open it up. Before you punch in the information from your Xbox, go to Settings, and you need to check several things. The first one is, go down to FTP and make certain that you are set for passive mode. It's already recommended and selected, but just double check it. Then go down to transfers. We set the maximum number of users at five on the Xbox, and the rule is for simultaneous transfers is max users minus one. So just set this to four. And one last thing to check. Come down to FTP file types and make sure it's selected to binary. The Xbox can only understand binary file types. Then click OK to save. With the console plugged in and turned on, take a look down here. You'll notice there's a spot for IP down at the bottom and number of users, but there's nothing there. So go plug in the Ethernet cable to your Wi-Fi router or your wired router and then plug it into the back of the Xbox. You'll notice as soon as I plugged it in, right down here, you'll see that there's an IP address. You'll need to have that IP address for FileZilla. So in this case, it's 10.0.1.79. So make sure you record that information for FileZilla. Also, you'll need to go down to System, all the way down to Settings, and scroll down to Network. Right down here, you'll see User, the name Xbox. You'll see Password, which is Xbox and the port, which is 21. So you'll need to record that information for FileZilla also. If you take a look right here at max number of users, make sure you set this to five. This is basically the amount of information that can go back and forth over the FTP that the Xbox can be willing to accept. So if you set this to a low number like five, it'll make sure that the data is received reliably. So again, user Xbox, password Xbox, port 21 and set maximum number of users to 5. Go up to the top and enter in the host information, username, password, and port that the Xbox assigned. So in this case it's 10 dot 0 0.1.79 username is Xbox password Xbox and the port is 21 
then click on Quick Connect. And here's the Xbox hard drive. This is the stock hard drive that came with the Xbox. The C partition is the system partition. You do not want to put anything here or you could damage the Xbox file structure and render your Xbox a brick. And X, Y, and Z are cache partitions. So you want to use the E partition for your content. Double click it and you'll see that the soft mod already laid out some folders. Go to games and you'll see here I already have Castlevania installed. Here's how you put new games in. Go to where you downloaded the 7z file. Double click to expand it. Take this folder, this being a drag and drop interface, and drag the whole folder into the games folder on the Xbox. And if you look in the top left corner here, you'll see that the file transfer is in progress. Depending on the size of the game you're installing, this could take anywhere from about two or three minutes up to maybe 15. File transfer successful. It's done. Let's go to the Xbox and check out the game. The game's transferred over. Let's go play it. Go down to system. This time, go to File Explorer. And there's your Xbox hard drive. So in the nav menu on the left, go down to partition E, and you'll see the same things you saw from FileZilla. So go down to games, and there's Castlevania, which was already installed. And there's Aliens vs. Predator. Drill into that with A. Now for every game, to start it the first time, you need to go down to default.xbe. Default.xbe. So just press A. It will load the game. Really great, isn't it? That is fast and reliable. So here's the title screen. Amazing. What a great genre too. Okay, to go back to the main menu, Press and hold the two trigger buttons. Then press back on this side and press the black button on this side. Just push them all together and let them go. Goes back to the main menu. Now from now on, to load the game, you can just go straight to the games shortcut and you'll see the games there. If you don't load them from File Explorer the first time, they won't show up in the games menu here. So go to File Explorer and fire off default.xbe for each, each game the first time. Then you can go to the games menu and just fire them off from right here. This is super fast to learn, super convenient to set up, and super awesome to use. Thank you so much for being here with me on this video. I hope you enjoy having this as part of your Xbox experience from now on. Please just take a moment and write down in the comments below to let me know what you think of this video and let me know if it helped you. If it really helped you out with adding value to your Xbox, just type the word yes down in the comments so that I know that it really did help you out. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's tremendously important and a vital part of helping me to be able to bring new and original gaming content to you. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.